Yo guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we will be talking about Ultra Regions and how to set it up on your Minecraft server. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. So when you go into your console, you type slash new regions. And then the menu will open and this menu is really really amazing because you can easily set it up. Now, U Regions is kind of like World Guard and it has flags as well. It doesn't have that many flags as World Guard, but therefore it's a lot simpler to set up. Another feature that it's currently lacking is Vertical, but um, this is already apparent to the developer and I've told the developer to add um, Vertical support so we can expand Vertical. Another thing, um, we have or there is a plugin for dinmap support i will link that as well in the description so you can add dinmap support for uh, ultra regions so your regions will show up on your dinmap map now um let's go to the world section first as you can see there's different worlds and there's not the normal world world never and the world end now these you can use to, you can click on it and as you can see the menu will navigate. You can see at what time the world is, you can set if it's raining or not. Uh, you can set, yeah, you can fix the time if you want to lock the time. Um, then you can set the difficulty, you can unload the world. So basically you can also have folders within um, your Minecraft server and just load those folders. And it basically means it works like a multiverse. So you can uh, join the world and then there's entities, you can manage the living beings on the world and you can also teleport into the world. So basically like portaling through multiverse. And um, for each world there's global settings, uh, but for now we're going to stay on the world and we're going to move on into regions. Now as you can see here is the global setting. So that means global stands for the settings of the whole world. And you can change those um, by going into the bedrock or clicking on the bedrock and then going into the flags. And as you can see, there's block placing, block breaking, interactions, PVP, PVE, all damage, uh, food change, explosions, item pickup, item drop, creature spawning, portal and crafting. Now, for instance, if you wanted to turn off uh, on the whole world, if you wanted to turn off uh, block breaking, uh, you can left click on this and this will open the next menu. And as you can see, there's a field for allow and there's a field for disallow. Now, if you set disallow, I will not be able to break any blocks anymore, at least people who have not got any exception. Now, if you want to add a player that has an exception to this so they can actually still break the block globally, you can. Uh, press on create override and then press on my head or your player's head and this player will now be allowed to do this action. Now if we want to select and create a region we can do that by uh, going on the anvil and it will come up with region. Now um, ultra regions in version 15.2 doesn't work as well as it does in 14.4. That's why I'm currently using 14.4. Ultra Regions works to about 90% of its capabilities. There's just one feature that doesn't work and I'll show you about that. So first we're gonna start off by going back into Ultra Regions, U Regions, and then um, we can click on Visualization. So this will enable us to see the area that we selected with particles. And I will turn that on now. And we're going to start doing a region again. And we start by typing in a name. So you open your console again or your text field. And you type in, for example, village as the name of your region. And as you can see, you can choose a different selection type. So uh, there's a sphere shaped selection. So you can have a round selection for uh, land. Or you can have a cube shaped selection, which is the most common way of doing it. And now um, it's pretty easy to do this. You have your um, block on the first point. So um, you right, you left click or right click here. And as you can see, second point 
it's asking for that now. So we can move on and place the second point. Now the problem is this will not select the whole area that we actually want. Especially if you want to go to bedrock, you will not be protecting below bedrock. But now as you can see, the particles are working. So you can actually see how big the area is that you already selected. So if I right click here, you can see that this area is now protected with the uh, particles. And that is very useful as you can see. Now, um, if we want to do this with bedrock, which then again is a problem, so down to the bedrock, uh, we will have to uh, go into spectator mode before and then go into creative again. And I will show you how to do that in a second. Right now, this is uh, the only way to do it if you want to protect down to bedrock because uh, the other way to do it um, doesn't really doesn't really like there's no other way of doing it. So if you would even take the player coordinate, uh, it would still not work the way you wanted it. So if you would press Q instead of placing the block, um, it doesn't work as intended. So it will just take your um, like horizontal coordinate, but not your vertical. So I'm quickly going to build a big tower of dirt or grass. And it doesn't really matter, but we will be able to protect up to this height. And I'll do that before because otherwise I cannot place blocks later on because I'm in the mode of, you know, selecting the region. So what we do now is just quickly go back into U regions and we're going to do a new one. So I'm going to click delete here and we're going to click create region. I'm going to call it village again and we're going to go into cube shape selection, then type game mode spectator and now in spectator mode and now we're going to go below the bedrock where we want to go so basically we just ascend and as you can see we're going through the whole world and doing this will actually be pretty useful later on because your minds will be protected otherwise your minds are not protected and anyone can just build below you um, so we're going to go back to game mode creative and now in creative we can start with our cube selection. So I'm just going to click select and I'm just quickly going to go back to spectator mode. You can use the arrow keys up so you don't have to retype the command. And once you're up there, um, we will go back to our We'll go back to our uh, big tower here of grass. And now this whole region is protected down to the bedrock. So that means your mines are protected now and no one can build below your whole uh, region. So now we can still set the flags and um, some other stuff. I'm just quickly going to show you your regions. And as you can see, the village is here as a region now. And we can change the icon. Uh, there's some, there's a small selection here, but if we want to search for the spe specific one, for example, Emerald, it will come up if we click on the compass. And that's how we can change it. We can also teleport to a region that we've created. So that will take me here, which is probably like the center of the region. Um, also now if we want to, uh, if we want to change the flags, we can do that just the same way as we did within the global settings, um, of the world. And obviously we can also delete the region, which is pretty straightforward. So yeah, um, this has basically been new regions. It's a really, really cool plugin. I can really, really recommend it for you guys. Uh, it's also a cool it's a good purchase decision. Um, right now, there's some things lacking for 15.2, um, but the developer of the plugin is, a, is aware of it, and I've also made him aware of it. And um, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped, and I hope it helped you understand how this plugin works, and maybe even help you uh, understand or 
helped you to make a decision whether you want to buy it. So um, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.